Manphilia comes off as a people pleaser to me. Um, are you talking about like Rin? Rin? What's her name? Rin? Or like OG Manphilia? Is this the right way? How did I get over there? No. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What's the matter? Are you all right? What? What just happened? I don't know what just happened. There's something I need Rain to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You almost doze this stuff out. No, it... it couldn't be. I... I know what it is. It's Sin Eater. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. Ew! So it is. Lord Vorthry, your reign of tyranny is at an end. For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused. And if you harbor even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man. What? Baby on his stomach? His wings can actually hold him up? What the hell? I really like his goodbye wave. Oh, I knew you could do it, dearest. I never doubted you for a moment. She f she just scared me. Emmet is the alive. true hero. Oh, <gasps> Ardbird is back. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, 
I was all but spent. I, th I think he's my next boyfriend. I think he is. Oh, did I just say I that out loud? I wonder why until now. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word. The silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Oh my gosh, guys. I just realized... If... If I lose Ardbert, we've come to a point in the story where so much investment has been put into this that if we lose Ardbert, I will also be heartbroken. How? Like, how, how did he... How, how did he seep into my heart? How? Goodness. Goodness. All right, all right. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no. The future is where my destiny awaits. <gasps> Forgive me, I was lost in a dream. I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me, leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. When first I turned my mind towards the salvation of the world, I came to the conclusion that it would take many long years, many more than remain to me. And so I made myself one with the Crystal Tower, that I might live indefinitely. I am but an extension of it now, hence my weakness the farther I travel and the longer I am away. It has been quite a journey. But thanks to you, the end is in sight. My wish will finally be fulfilled. How goes the construction effort? Then this may be the last moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. Tell me, when all of this is over, what will you do? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, you needn't hurry to decide. I was merely curious to know what sort of future lay in store for a hero with her life ahead of her. But whatever it is you decide to do, I have every confidence that you will do well. For you have the strength to forge your own path. You will leave countless lives better than you found them, and the souls you touch will never forget your kindness. Then, in trying times, when you question your worth and your choices, they will raise their voices to remind you of the difference you have made. And thus will your deeds come to affirm your path. Remember this. I kind of want to know the answer to both.
When this is over, indeed. I once told you that there are things we can ill afford to lose. Things, I said, though in truth I spoke of a person, one who is unaware of the full extent of my plans. Though she deserves to know, I have good reason to keep my counsel. I have come to terms with this in my mind, yet my heart yearns to lay everything bare. For she is my inspiration, and I would give much and more for the chance to speak with her as friends, with no thought of concealment. Should she indulge me with her tales, I would regale her with my own, about my efforts in Norfrant, perhaps. Though, ultimately, that tale is more yours than it is mine. Then, I would ask her about her next adventure. And if she should wish me to be a part of it, oh, how happy it would make me. Together we would travel the lands and cross the seas and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. My heart swells simply to imagine it. But all of this is contingent upon our victory in the coming battle. The people of this world have entrusted their hopes to us. We cannot fail them. Nor those who roused me from my slumber. Thank you for your company, my friend. Let us return to Amity. But, um... Yeah, that made me like the Exarch a lot more. He's... It makes me feel so... sad for him. I just want good things to happen to him, you know? Welcome back. Okay, wow. You're just like little flies to me. Yes. You've not lost your touch, you clever old bugger. <laughs> what? We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. Is that? Oh my god! Such a heartless thing, our sapling is cold and cruel and heartless! Oh my god! Summon us in times of need, we expressly said, yet what should we find but the final battle <laughs> join without so much as a whisper of our name? I'm so happy that she's so mad at me. Yes, we may also have said that we fae folk have no interest in the struggles of men. But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have come to her aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with her? I love her. She is the best. We are so very, very sad. You will play with us. Cheer us up again! I freaking love her. Find Vorthry. We will hold the Eaters here. Ka! 
come. Let's finish this. Okay, how how are just like five of you guys able to like Wait, I literally just unlocked another one? What? What? There's more? Ew. The light surges within me. Such peace. Uh. This is the big bald baby bitch I've been calling. What? What? Like a great god. <laughs> what? What just happened? Oh my god. Are you all right? All right. Say something. Say something. Twelve for Fend. She cannot contain the light. She's beginning to turn. What? Orionje, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. It's changing back. The combined power of every Light Warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. No, 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 no. <sighs> I will channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. What? No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Damn you. We won't let you do with her as you please. Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Urianger. It is all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrent.
At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Oh my god, I knew it! Oh my god, I knew it was him! Oh my god! Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. <laughs> Fare you well, my friend, my inspiration. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthri. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided she could contain and control the light. If not, then she, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. 
So, we've been found wanting. How disheartened. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing Light Wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Still retain your form and your senses, but you have all but become a sin eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into sin eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet Sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Oh, the irony. What Fourth Free achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Exarch! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then, I bid you I farewell. Bid you farewell. Eater. Eater. There's one more person. One more person who has not showed up yet. Finally. After you collapsed, Emmett's silk vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it.
it's like this all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. I kind of guessed it was him this whole time. But then I also was convincing myself, no, no, it can't be him. I hate that. I hate that there was another... person trying to sacrifice themselves for me. I hate that so much because it just reminds me of... Orchafont and... And I was just about to like Emmett, but, you know. Yeah, combat, which just made it worse. I He's the only cat boy I like. I know he's not dead yet, as far as I know, but... But I hate knowing what his intentions were, and I hate that he tried to do that. And... He is a well-written character, he is. I was just so pissed at him, so pissed. I knew, I knew there was an ulterior motive, I just... I let myself like him, and I'm so pissed. 
How in the world do you pronounce that word? Dekaya sins the fiend I'm after. One of the so-called cardinal virtues, as folks on want to call him. <laughs> yeah, sh should I? I'll call him Dick for short. Good. Got it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> You've heard the pitch. So what's the answer? You interested in hunting Dick with me? <laughs> it's just... Okay. I guess it... Uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't know what to do after I lost Melinda. How to mourn her or how to live. I felt that if I put it all on Dick. I'm sorry, that. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Put my everything into the hunt. That at least I wouldn't have to think about myself or what comes next. I wanted to hollow myself out and fill up that hole with hate. Forget who I was. An irony of ironies. That's just what the poor bastard tried to do to himself a century ago too, isn't it? <laughs> hard men making hard choices. What rot. <laughs> I don't think I should have taken your guys' suggestion because now I can't, like... I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> well met, Sina. Glad to see you made it back safe and sound. Having returned to where it all began, I can't help but think back to when I first came here, thinking only of Dick and my revenge. <laughs> this was the mistake. I was so wrapped up in it. Well, come on then. Guys, I really, 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 really like him. He's grown on me so much. I don't want to fist bump him. between us was no coincidence. My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role in yours. I suspected as much the moment I realized you could hear me. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. I was afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. But no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. For what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. So, let us be about it, hero. He... Oh. oh was worried you were up here all alone, brooding and fretting and wallowing in your woes. But look at you! Grinning at nothing like a pollen drug pixie. Hmm. Look at what 
you've done to your ether. It's a mess. And you have cracks running all through that pretty soul of yours. My poor little sapling. Whatever am I to do with you? Oh, I love her so much. Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. Cut ties with the mortal world. Hide away in the castle. Oh, fuel. It won't fix the problem. But would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Eel Meg will rise up in your defense. My crown and scepter are yours, if you want them. You are the most precious. What? Don't give me that look! <laughs> of course I knew before I asked that you'd never ever heed such a wicked suggestion. And besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? Dear beloved sapling, you are lost, confused, and have precious little time to gather your wits. Your kind is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead, and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour. But such trickery is easy to see through. Stand very, very still. Think not of where you need to go. But where you are right now, at this moment, at this time, in this place. Our Kerm of Crystal. From shadowed hood he watched you go, his ruby eyes with warmth aglow. See yourself as he saw you, and that shall be the clearest clue. You stand in his garden, dear sapling. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. But what will you do with it, I wonder? I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. It was her. The warrior of light has been our unbroken thread. Where others would stumble and fall, she would rise above. Where others would break and run, she would carry on. The warrior of light's tale is one of unyielding bravery. To tell it was to feel courage, to hear it, was to feel hope. It was a breath of inspiration in an age of suffocating shadow. In the histories of a fallen nation was our hero hailed as its greatest ally. In the time-worn pages of a noble's memoirs were her deeds joyously retold. For many, these stories were the flame which warmed them through the coldest of nights.
And so it should come as little surprise that the plan found no shortage of volunteers, concerning as it did the Warrior of Light herself. It was their chance to add their own verse to the hero's saga. She was the lodestar that brought them all together to send their final message back through time and space to her. The light of your legacy was our torch in the darkness. Burn bright again and live. I am merely the bearer of that wish. Come to ensure it is safely delivered. Wherefore sharest thou this burden with me and no other? What wouldst thou have me say? That you will be my accomplice? T'was you yourself who convinced me of your suitability when you spoke of how you learned of the Flood and of your part in arranging Minfilia's journey to the First. Your actions showed uncommon resolve. It was clear you were committed to the cause of saving this world. I knew I could trust you to choose the right path forward, even if that choice came with a heavy price. What price? When all is said and done, and the last of the Light Wardens lies slain, I will absorb their corrupted ether, and then I will die. Knowing what I know of your companions, not to mention your champion, they will try to stop me. But in saving one, they would save none. Therefore, I implore you to aid me in concealing my identity and ensuring this tale ends as it must. To this end, I would have you take what I have told you of the Calamity and make of it a portent, a prophetic vision you beheld in the swirling chaos of the Rift. Is this truly thy wish? History remembered the Warrior of Light, as I knew it would. And I will suffer no other to rescue the champion whose star has charted my course. I will see this tale to a happy end, my friend. There has been enough tragedy. Careful now. If you lose control again, the light could claim you for good. Although it's probably only a matter of time before you succumb to the change in any case. What do you mean to do? should be on our way. Diasian mentioned the Tempest, did he not? That's the stormy seas around Calusia to you. His lair must be down there somewhere, hidden beneath the waves.
Ah, oh, we have found thee. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I believe this is the first time I'm running back into my friends after what happened. Word reached us of thy recovery, and thus did we gather with all haste. Oh, I don't even want to be with them right now. I just... Ah. By thy looks, I gather thou hast gleaned that which I came to tell thee. Orionje has shared everything with us. The Exarch's true identity and purpose. I offer no excuses. When I agreed to aid the Exarch with his plans, twas in full acceptance of the condemnation I would face when my duplicity was laid bare. Yet it is not rancor, but resolve that I sense in thee. Thou art fully intent upon walking thy path to its end, art thou not? If thou canst forgive my deception, or Failing that, set aside thy displeasure for a time. I do beg leave to follow thee. What strength and wisdom I possess are thine to command. I want to... I want to see all of them. <sighs> I... <laughs> I'm not even mad at him. I can't even be mad at him. Right, I'm not even mad at him, which is... <sighs> I thank thee. Doubt not, but that I will do all in my power to repay thy kindness, and fulfill the Exarch's wishes. Okay, I know I complain about him all the time, but... <sighs> At this moment, he is so precious to me. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good idea. Leaving the Crystarium, I mean, with or without Urianche. What I did for you won't last forever. There's no telling when the light will break free again. Please, you must stay here. At least for a little while longer, we will find a way to cure this, I promise you. How can you make promises? We don't even know where to start. Alizé, please. You know Reen was only trying to help. Of course I know! I know only too well! But making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. It's a lie. Plain and simple. We've all searched high and low for an answer. And every one of us came back empty-handed. I am not about to stand in her way now. Not after failing her in her hour of need. No, the least we can do is... We will go with you as well. There is naught to be gained by standing still. Indeed, we have exhausted every other avenue. Lead, and we shall follow. If there is any hope to be found, then we will surely find it at your side. Are we all in agreement, then? Is there aught we can do to help? Though we may not know the whole story, we do know you're in for a fight. 
And while the Exarchs are away, it falls to the rest of us to see the Warrior of Darkness is given a proper send-off. You told them? No. Well, not in so many words. Aye, we didn't need it spelled out for us. When the night sky appeared over whichever place you went to, it was harder not to put two and two together. From the moment I heard that you and the Exarch shared the homeland, I had my suspicions. Long had he been waiting for a certain someone to arrive. And I knew at once that it must be you. Exactly. When he went out to meet you, it was clear it was no ordinary visitor. That spring in his step spoke volumes. I could feel his excitement. Me too! That's right! Yeah, yeah. We do not fully understand where you or the Exarch hail from, or why you've all done so much to protect us. But we are deeply grateful nonetheless. So, if there is anything at all we might do to aid your journey, you need only name it. What would you have of us? You might have invited them to join us, where there are not so many. But come, they are waiting. What is your will, O oh warrior of darkness?